Good evening. Welcome to our walk through the path. My name is Orion George Owens. I was born January 22nd, 1915 in Cedar County, Iowa. My father was George H. Owens, also of Cedar County. My mother, Myra Althea Fiddler of Schuylkill County, Pennsylvania, and George were married southwest of Lisbon on a farm owned by the Leonard Brolicks and occupied by the Paul Patterson. I attended Lisbon School and graduated in May 1935. One time while still in high school, Grandma asked me to get a loaf of bread at Cruz's Bakery on the way home. Some friends and I played catch with the bread and as a result, it wasn't quite what Grandma expected. And so I received a good old fashioned tongue lashing. I was lucky to escape without a good old fashioned whipping. I went to work on a farm southwest of West Liberty, Iowa until I was inducted into the service in Muscatine, Iowa, August 27, 1942. I became first engineer and top turret gunner on a B-17 bomber. One time during a training flight, the landing gear refused to respond to the pilot signal. So as first engineer, it was my responsibility to climb out in the wings and manually crank them down. After training, we were sent to England and based at Thurley. Our B-17 bomber was named Ration Passion and on January 11, 1944, we took off on our 10th mission. There were 663 heavy bombers of the 306th bomb group on this mission. We were assigned as deputy group, group leader from the 368th Quadrant. Our target was a plant in Halberstadt, Germany. On our return to base, we were shot down in Holland. At that time, the Nazis applied, occupied Holland, Belgium, and France. I was injured when my chute opened and then broke a rib when I hit the frozen ground. Some Dutch resistance people hid me in a potato cellar where I was joined by two other crew members. We were later shuttled separately to other homes, barns, etc. Finally, eventually, with the help of Dutch and Belgium well-organized resistance groups, we made it to a woods near Chimay and St. Remy, Belgium, only a short distance from the north of France. Eventually, there were 10 U.S. airmen in the woods waiting to be moved on into France and hope, hopefully to Spain and then back to England. However, the Germans cut off the underground route and we had to wait for a new route to be established. Two of the group decided to take off and tried to make it on their own. They were successful in their efforts. Earlier, they had urged the rest of us to leave in pairs also. The remaining eight of us were making plans to follow our friends when on April 22nd, 1944, we were discovered and some 1,500 Nazis, German SS, Russian, and Belgium, surrounded the woods and we were taken captive. We were transported to a schoolhouse, which was SS headquarters in Chimay. There we were stripped of our dog tags, false papers, and money. Our interrogation lasted three hours, after which time we were loaded into a truck and taken back to the woods. There we were lined up with two armed Nazis behind each of us in order to walk into the woods. At a prearranged signal, we were shot from behind. Sometime later, our bodies were gathered up and transported to an airfield at Gosselies, north of Chimay, where we were buried without identification. When our graves were discovered a year later, identification rested with the fact that one of our group had hidden his dog tags in a small bag between two t-shirts, and the Germans had missed them. My father had my remains returned to Lisbon where a service was held at my home church, First Federated, on November 4th, 1948, four years, six months, and 12 days after my murder on April 22nd, 1944. Thank you for coming.